Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our series in how to push your products from QuickBooks Point of Sale online. Uh, we have this wonderful integration that we work with and we are going through a series on how to have your QuickBooks Point of Sale in your retail store, but how to also have an online store. Uh, this integration works with 40 different shopping carts, some of the most popular ones, WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento, Volusion, uh, Amazon and eBay. There's so many I can't even go through all of them, but today specifically again we are talking about Shopify. And in some of the previous videos I showed you how to push products from your retail store up to Shopify and have them fully synchronized. That's right, this integration will synchronize your quantities it will uh, work as an order dashboard where you can fulfill the orders that are placed in the online store, uh, keeping your point of sale and your online store both up to date with each other, perfectly synchronized, <clears throat> and then flowing the money through your point of sale or through your QuickBooks if it's hooked up to that. And so you have perfect uh, accounting going on and you really don't have, you don't really have to do any manual entry. I could talk and talk about it, but let's get to this. Uh, I pushed a regular product last time. Today, very excitingly, we have a variant product. Uh, what in Shopify it's called a variation. And here's my little Shopify trial store. I don't only have a couple products in here because I haven't done a whole lot with it. We're just playing around. Uh, here you can see I have snorkel fins and this is a variation product. If you have multiple colors and multiple sizes or different designations in point of sale and you want that to show up as a single product, we're going to do that right now. We are going to push this baseball hat which has all sorts of sizes and colors up to Shopify and we don't want these to show up as, you know, 12, 15 different products in the Shopify store. We want this to be a single product with the little drop down so your customer can be happy and just choose the size and color they want and they're set to go. I'm gonna point out real quick that I have quantities here, I have descriptions filled in, uh, we have all the sizes and colors, and then we have some different pricing. Uh, the medium and large are $11.99. The extra large, because it's so big, is $12.99. And then the small is $10.99. I just want to point that out so that you can see when your customer chooses the size they want on your store, it actually changes the price. I'm going to pop over to details here and hit style so that you can see that in QuickBooks point of sale, this is actually set up as a product with a style. And uh, so if you're not used to that, you might need to look into a little more research with what's a style and how you can set that up in QuickBooks Point of Sale. It's really the way to go with clothing or anything where there's numerous variations. But we are going to pull this out of Point of Sale and we're going to synchronize it with Shopify. It's going to be awesome. Okay, I have to stop right now. If this is interesting to you, if you are planning on getting online with your store, selling online, taking customer orders... Uh, go ahead and click the link down in the description below to get signed up for a one-to-one -one on screen demonstration to answer all of your questions about the integration I'm going to use here and we'll just walk through and have our, our uh, rep show you exactly what you need to know and answer all of your questions about this integration. It's going to be great. I'm going to pull it up right now and I'm going to pull in products again I need to you know get it all synchronized here I've got the baseball hats here but I want the latest greatest up-to-date information in my dashboard here so that I can push it up to the Shopify store alright it got all the products we are all set here now what I'm gonna do is choose all the baseball hats because they are all variants of the same product so I'll just check mark each and every size and color right here there, I got them all. Now I'm gonna set for all of these. Um, you know what, I did not put like a clothing or or uh, accessory or hat category into my online store, I apologize. I should have done that beforehand. I'm just gonna call it, uh, put it in the home page department, I guess. Uh, manufacturer, I'll keep as Dunlop, uh, but you can set up all these things, different manufacturers, different uh, departments or categories in your Shopify store and so the last thing you need to do when you're doing a variant product or what they call in point of sale is a style 
So on a style product, once you have them all selected, you're going to want to map the attribute and size, which is these columns right here, excuse me, attribute and size. Attribute is obviously color and size is size. So I hit the map attributes button there. It looks like I already have them filled in from last time, but if these are blank for you, you can type in color, you can type in size. And so that's what these two columns become gonna hit save it's saved successfully and I believe I'm all set to go I got everything set here I'm just gonna hit save first that's gonna say okay we've updated that now you can see that all these products are ready to transfer and so I'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and hit transfer products it's gonna be really quick here and it should in a moment tell us that they are done and they are successful and that is all there is to it that is all you have to do to push QuickBooks point of sale products, whether they're single or variants or styles, whatever you want to call them, up to your Shopify store. There, they're all successful. Now I'm going to pull over my Shopify store, which is the Rad Sports Emporium. I'm on the products page already and I'm just going to reload the products page. And there, everything's done for me. I have 136 in stock for 12 different variations of the baseball hat. Now, all I need to do to complete pretty much the entire process is I would probably just choose to uh, add pictures to these. For example, tan, I would choose all the tan ones because they're all gonna be the same picture. I'm gonna say more actions, add image. I need to add an image. That image is going to be right here in a moment once it loads up. There we go, we got tan. So we add the image for tan. Tan, done. Then I'll choose all the grays. Okay, I am done adding those pictures to all the different colors and I can hit save at the top on my baseball hat. As soon as the saving is done, I'm going to hit preview and we're going to see what this looks like in my Shopify store. So here we have it. Uh, I could have had a better, longer description here, but otherwise we got tan, XL, large, medium, small. You might want to reorder those so they're in better order. If I hit gray and I can choose a size, you can see that the price is changing according to the size, small, medium, or large, 10.99. And there you have it. We have now synchronized my QuickBooks point of sale style product over to Shopify to also contain what we call in Shopify variations. Once again, if you are interested in this integration software, go ahead and click the link in the description down below and you can uh, sign up for a one-to-one -one session to explain the software to you or answer all of your questions. If you're on YouTube mobile, you might have to hit that little down arrow on your right to see the description. So click on the link there and sign up for a one-to-one -one demonstration free of charge, no strings attached, just get the info that you need and the questions answered. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business and this was Pushing Styles or variation products up to Shopify from QuickBooks point of sale. You have yourself a stupendous day. Thanks. Bye-bye.